Welcome you to the Fan Addict Sports Channel for sports fans by sports fans. It's your boy Coach I. Where my dogs at? We back in the Fan Addict for another episode of Life on Campus, where we talk to former college athletes, bring them into the Fan Addict so they can chop it up about how life was as a student athlete at their respective college. So if you like content like that, other college sports content, football, basketball, some even pro content, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down low, so uh, down at the bottom. So, you know, help the algorithm. It helps keep us at the top of the search and help more people come get content just like the content you're getting right now. Today's episode, we talk at HBCU basketball at Johnson C. Smith with my boy Quincy Nolan. And from freshman year to senior year, Quincy going to give us his take on what it was like playing basketball in Queen City. What's going on, Q? What's up, Coach? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. We in here so you can tell us what it was like at HBCU Johnson C. Smith, man. How do you, how you liked it up there? It was good. Um, you know, I was in Charlotte. I went too far. Right by the I Queen just, City. <laughs> yeah, just right. Um, it was a pretty good experience. So you was at the HBCU. You know, I coached you down at Malden. It's a little bit different ratio of, of us down at Malden. How was that transition oh, yeah, going definitely. from Malden to Justin C. Smith? Um, it wasn't that bad. Like, I pretty much, like, adjusted pretty quickly. Like, my first year, I wasn't playing ball. So, like, just just meeting friends. is actually just being a student for a chance instead of being a, like, a uh, student athlete. Yeah. So, that was just good. Like, my first year, just coming to Smith, just – Focus on my grades, you know, just taking it in. I actually think that was yeah, a, that's a, that's a bit of an advantage because you got used to college life before you had to add in, you know, the yeah. The so sports. by the time yeah, so it was already easy. I already knew how to handle it. What about the academics? Uh, was it easy to adjust to that? I mean, you was pretty smart anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't that it wasn't that hard. Um, HBC, and they definitely like the smaller classes definitely helped. Okay, so it was pretty much like you don't have to. Compared to like maybe like a D one school, I got to worry about like hundred people in my class. You know, like might be like twenty or thirty of us. So that that helped out a lot. A hundred would be a good <laughs> your freshman year <laughs> at a power five. A hundred is a good size. Like man, my bio, yeah. my freshman biology, I think we had about 150, 200 people in that class. <laughs> okay, so I know it get crazy. Okay, so what uh when you got ready? I know you had already wanted to play ball, so but when you got ready to go out, you just had to go out and try out, talk to the coach. How you do that? Well, uh, okay, so my second year I come back, uh, they we had, like, open runs in the uh, gym. Yeah. I began to, uh, every year, and I was in there playing, and he talked he talked to me pretty much, like, uh, asked me on my, my physical and, like, uh, preseason. So okay. pretty much got on the team my second year. Okay. Uh, my freshman year, I got cut. I got you. To be honest. Okay. Yeah, so. Hey, um, Michael Jordan got cut but, by his first basketball team. Yeah, it was all good. <laughs> um. The night before, I had sprained my ankle. I had twisted my ankle, so like, oh okay, it all worked out like the right time. Like it was all good. Okay, so, so when that switch come on for you, like man, you had skills in high school, but I don't think you was as hungry for it as you was. Like when I watch you, when I watch your tape at Johnson C. Smith, totally did two totally yeah. different mentalities. Um, probably just the I know I can do it. Like in school, like. I don't know. It's like I had it, like you said, I had it. Is just the extra push, the extra drive. Like me being away from basketball from those couple of years just made me hungry <laughs> because, like, I felt like I, I already knew how I felt like for not to be there no more. So, like, when I got in school, it was just like I already know how I feel not to, not to play no more. So, like, I want to see how far I can go. Okay. And so that's pretty much how I did. Okay. And uh, hey, according to them highlights, I mean, the three was good when in high school, but it got a little bit wetter in college. Well, I mean, you was on yeah. the shooting machine every day. What's going on? 
Um, yeah, like like I said, my freshman year when I got cut, me and my bro, we used to be in the gym every day. Just he went even playing ball, we would just work out, uh, trying to eat right. Just that's when I lost a lot of weight. Just working out every day, and next year every day, just keep working out, doing something, trying to improve. So, did anybody on the staff help you with your nutrition, or you just took it upon yourself to do it? Well, you know, at HBCU, we we not eating that good as it is, so <laughs> we. Like I said, you every man for it. So it was some nights, a lot of cookout nights, milkshakes. Don't get me wrong, yeah. you know, you just gotta find that balance. Gotta try to try to eat right. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, that's why. Okay, I want to ask you that. So with D, okay, we all know Dion with the Jackson was it Jackson State? Dion Sanders, he coaching at Jack, yeah. the Jackson State. So and then like one of the things is they say that you know the Power Five got more resources than HBCU. So did y'all have anybody to talk to y'all about nutrition? We, no, we didn't have that. Like my coach, uh, he old school, but like just a school <laughs> period, uh, didn't really have those resources. Not even just like, like you said, nutrition, cafeteria, pretty much like a high school. You know what I mean? We not really, basketball, we pre-gamed in the cafeteria. So we eating like just the basic stuff, you know? So it was just, you just got to pretty much every man for itself. You got to know what you got to put in your body. Like, Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, what um, about like strength and condition? Y'all, I know y'all had a strength and condition coach. Yeah, we, we, we had one. Uh, workouts was pretty straight. You know, we pretty much did the same stuff, but like it helped us. Like, like I said, my coach old school, we do 20 laps. We had like a whole routine before practice and stuff. So the conditioning, we, he had us in shape. I'm not going to lie, but it was definitely different from a D1. We would have been, he wouldn't have to do so much hands on himself. Because he would have had a whole bunch of support staff and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, okay. he was pretty much on by himself, and which I don't think he really mind because that's just my coach. But he was definitely more on by himself too. I'm gonna I'm be honest, man. Like when you coaching, sometimes too many hands in the pot that that can yeah. get it, that can get in the way with what you're trying to do. But yeah. I mean, it is it is what it is. So, um, so what was the first moment when you well, after you done made the team? Season that started, I don't, whether it was practice or in the game, you was like, all right, I ain't in high school no more. These dudes out here hooping. Man, I was just telling Jalen this other day. Like, my first day of practice, I turned the ball over. Every time I touched the ball, every time, I don't know what I was doing. If I was trying to pass it, dribble the ball, just, I'm like, dang. Because, like, where I'm at, like, my position, I'm, you know, I'm a three. So, like, I'm yeah. not the tallest, but I'm not the strongest, and my handles aren't the best. So, I'm like my shot, like that's the only thing I can really do right now. I'm not like I said, I'm not the strongest athletic. So like dribbling, guards taking it. I'm in the post, big man scoring. It looks like, like my, that's my freshman year, pretty much. Like you know, yeah. So like my sophomore, year, I started getting a little better. So that's really how that went down. Like so, like basically when you first started practice, you was like, all right, I got to get it together. Yeah, my first <laughs> practice, I had to get it together quick. So did a lot of the upperclassmen kind of uh, take you under their wing and help you out? Yeah, like, it? Okay. it definitely was like that. Like, my freshman year, we actually went to the championship. We lost, um, but that's my, like, my probably the best year, like, a record-wise, we went to the championship. It was a lot of mature, older heads on the team, a lot of seniors, about, like, four or five seniors. So they definitely took me under their wing and, like, pretty much showed me the ropes on how to okay. play in college, really, so. Well, that's good, man, because, you know, it ain't always like that, especially, you know, you come in there, you starting to get the playing time. Sometimes the older yeah. dude, like, uh, the young dude taking my playing time, like, I ain't showing yeah. him nothing. That's yeah, what's up. True. So, so during the season, uh, conditioning, like, the speed of the game, that was okay for you? Um, I definitely had, like I said, just the first time out there. Cause I wasn't really playing that much my freshman year because yeah. uh, we really had so many people. I started playing more, like, my sophomore and junior year. Uh, people started getting injuries and stuff. So, like, I had stepped on it. Like, I still held it down. I did what I had to do when I was out there. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely definitely quicker, like a faster pace. Okay. Well, then you, like I said, we talked earlier about you had your freshman year to get used to the academics and college life, and mm -hmm. a lot of athletes don't get that. So, when you started playing uh, on the team, what was the biggest adjustment in, like, how you handle your, your regular student life and academic life, I mean, and athletic life? Uh, to be honest, my grades actually improved. Like, I, uh, my last two years okay. in college, I ended up having A's and B's, and I ain't never had A's and B's, like, through college, like, before that. So, like, that was actually better. My uh, senior year, I started working, like, the library. So, it was, like, I could use that little time to, like, get my work done and, like, practice right before, make a little money. So, 
like I had a pretty good schedule. Like I was pretty balanced. So with the schedule, tell me, take me through a day. Like during the season, take me through a, a, a like a day that y'all got. Not a game day. We'll do that it's one. A regular day. day. Yeah, like regular a regular day. day during the season. Um, I might have class at like ten. 10 to 11 or 10 50. wow uh i might have two classes two classes might be an hour but like it'd be like the tuesday and thir- tuesday and thursday classes would be hour and 30. but the monday wednesday and friday classes would be yeah. 50 minutes yeah. so um like y'all have practice at this time i probably stopped going to the cab like, at this time i'm just spending money going to eat my own food so i probably <laughs> Me and my friends go get some food. I might have practice probably like here. Uh, or I might I might try to go to the gym. Usually I try to go to the gym between class, get shots up, or lift weights. Just depends. This depends what day it is, how much time I have. Um, then I said get some food and practice probably like at. We had switched with the girls, so we might have practice at three, three to five, or we might have practice five to seven. You want to have the early practice so you don't got to be in there all night because. We had an early practice, we good. So we had an early practice, uh, three to five. Uh, we might, well, we really, he really did, didn't really care about study. Here. I'm not saying he didn't care, but like, uh, it was, really, it was mandatory. Yeah, unless you had, of course, your grades was just not, like that bad. You had to like sign and stuff, but if your, your grades was good, you was good. And, um, yeah, and after that, pretty much going to chill with my friends, might play a little 2K, just chilling, studying. Just, you know, trying to enjoy college a little bit. So, let me ask, you said your day started at 10 o'clock with your first class, around 10 o'clock anyway. Like, you never had no earlier classes than 10 o'clock. Nah, my, my, no, nah, my earliest class, I'm talking about just one day. Like, my earliest yeah. class probably was like, I probably had an eight. I had an eight I every now and then, but I didn't always have eight. So, I might have eight like once, one semester. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. so like. Cause I got I got cool with my um advisor so much like she got me like good classes at like the right time then like my practice so I I, I had to go kind of early but not like too early at the same time because we had games and stuff so I had a pretty good little schedule and it was on y'all to go put y'all like you said like in between like classes and going to get something to eat you might go put some shots up that was just something you did on your own you and your you yeah, and your we, teammates or something yeah we pretty much like let's say with that team you had to pretty much work out. By yourself, or like, I mean, we didn't really have no trainers. It's my head coach, assistant coach, uh, another assistant coach. He played uh, overseas ball, so he would like help train us a little bit. And that was pretty much all. Like, so you had to pretty much get it in by yourself, like, to find a way, like, work out. Hey, sometimes it be like that, but at least y'all loved it. So y'all took it amongst y'all self to yeah. go in there and uh, get the work in. So, so what, what was college life? You know, especially the athletic part, was college life like what you thought it was going to be like? Um, I would say it pretty much, yeah, it was. It wasn't just like, of course, like I said, not D1, D1. I didn't see all the, like, stuff, but, like, the traveling. I love traveling to, like, Virginia and just, like, just being in the tournament, the playoff. Like, you know, we in Charlotte, so when we had the CIAA down there, it's like we home. Like, just like my, my first year, we went, like, we went – uh went to the finals, like, you know, yeah. just being in that atmosphere and just like, like, yeah, I'm in college. Like, I play college ball, like, you know, so I started to like, you know, feel it a little bit, but. That's what's yeah. up. So you, you started to feel like a, like, like, like the man around town. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say the man. Yeah. Um, Cause I know I, like, I was in my, in my head, I still haven't like done too much. Like I said, when I did get out there, I played, I started a few games, like my sophomore, junior year. Yeah. So like, I just I was like I'm a college basketball player like I know I haven't done nothing because I ain't, like I'm not a starter I'm not meeting all my goals but I have met some goals you know okay so that's how I pretty much was like you know what was good about being in Charlotte so where y'all used to hang out at Quincy <laughs> uh well it was good for one my aunt lived in Charlotte so that would help like she lived like five ten minutes away from like the school so that would always help like you know if I needed something uh but hangout spots we really. Like, I don't really party that much. So it was like Thursday, it was kind of like down, uh, the Epic Center or something going downtown. Like a campus area be cool, like around campus, but like our campus is real old too. It's like, yeah. you know, it's HBCU. So really little stuff around Charlotte. Ain't nothing like, nothing big. Like, so when you first got there and got on the team, was there any like, uh, 
anybody on the team that you didn't get along with that much? Or I, I ain't saying y'all got into it or nothing, but y'all just didn't really fool with each other like that. Mm, the first time, first team, no. no. I think everybody pretty much, like, with me was pretty much cool. It wasn't like no, no, like no bad beef with nobody because I pretty much knew people. Like, but people knew me before I was on the team. So, like, they uh-huh. saw, like, how I, like, came up. So, then, oh, yeah, bro, like, he cool and stuff like that. So, okay, it wasn't never, like, no bad blood, yeah. I mean, you just... They, like, you know how I be when you're on the team. You're you going to already be friends without basketball. So, that kind of, like, you know, my brother's, like... Yeah, I got you. Okay. Well, that, yeah. well that's good, man. So, uh, when you finish uh, your senior year, or what would you say your best year is? Uh, probably my, my junior year when I had number 44. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, that's when I was, that's when I was starting more. Uh, um, I probably started like five or six games. I was part of the rotation. Funny thing is, I had to play center. I had to play center. Uh, <laughs> I was six three, huh? playing center. That's hey, I took it. That's the only time they he was put me on the court. We was, like we kind of run a little small ball because we had a, a our power forward. He was like six eight, six nine. I was about and, to say, you know, he. I was about to say that he like you had to play center because somebody was hurt or you just. Yeah, that's what I said. People had people had got hurt. Okay. Uh, our other big man had got hurt, and like that year was weird. Like it was people. It was after like right after all the uh, seniors left, so we had like a few juniors, but we had like a young a young team. So everybody wasn't just like I wouldn't even say mature. Like everybody wasn't just clicking this year. This is an off year. Yeah. Um, so that's when I kind of got my little my little playing time. I snuck in there and got a little few minutes ain't i said no, i played good a few times ain't no matter how you get the playing time as long as you do what you need to do when you get on the court sometimes like people eat burger king after practice little stuff like that uh the, the calf was all right like it wasn't the best so that was really our like campus meals so when no times where you was uh actually going hungry and then i mean like of course at night time I mean, if night time if you want a snack ain't no cafeteria open you got to go get your own snack yeah i mean at first maybe my freshman and stuff like that it was more like that but i started actually working on campus and like if i got older i probably was like i said i was eating at my during my senior year i wasn't even going to the cafeteria no more i was just eating out i was just People, people I knew cooking and like, you know, it was different. Freshman year is more like struggling, walking <laughs> around and stuff, you know, like had the, it was a, uh, like chicken king down the street, stuff like that. We had to like, you know, get used to like that life. But my senior year, you know, we more in the cars, we can do stuff now. Okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. All right. Did you ever get homesick? I know you wasn't that far, but did you ever get homesick? Uh, I say maybe my freshman year, I, I was coming home maybe a little bit like every weekend, but after that I probably went really went home because when I started playing ball, I couldn't come home. So yeah, after Christmas or like like I just like come home enough before the season started, stuff like that. Like during Christmas, can't come home. <laughs> we went home for like a week, yeah. a week or two maybe, oh. but it was all good at playing time. So what what was uh what was my dudes like? Did she uh did she did she want you to be home more or did she did she she might not she might not tell you she missed you but she probably did a lot. <laughs> um, I don't think she was. She probably of course missed me, but like I said, I still came home enough. Yeah. At the same time, like just during the seasons, like maybe I can slide a, like a day in, but maybe not because we be having Saturday practices and more time we have a game stuff like that. And I ain't have a car in college, so. Okay. Right, so we were talking on the phone and stuff like that. So, all right. So what was the so what was the overall? What was the pros? Since you had you you got the experience both lives. You your freshman year you was a regular student, no athlete, no athletics, and then you was a, a student athlete. What was the pros and cons about playing college ball? Pros and cons. The pros, of course, everybody know you. Uh, I mean. Of course, girls, but I mean, girls are gonna be there. Girls are gonna be there. You regular student, but of course, this people knowing your face, people just knowing you off rip. Uh, I mean, you can't get away with stuff. Not nothing like crazy. You might you know, just like a little stuff in class, like compared to a regular student. That's just in general. That's a student athlete. But like, that's all levels. Just the cons. That's just, it, the levels. cons. The same thing. Just everybody know you. Like, oh, he play basketball. Like the basketball player stuff like that. So it's just. Just basically doing stuff when, no, when you think nobody's seeing you, you know, just make sure you on your P's and Q's because somebody might just throw that just because you're a basketball player out. 
You know what I mean? Okay. So, so like if you out yeah, somewhere, so, cause you can't get in trouble like a, a regular kid getting in trouble because it's gonna be everywhere. In Charlotte, in Charlotte too, if I got JCSU basketball, my coach been coaching since the eighties, so everybody gonna you know, people talk, so you just gotta know what you're doing, you just can't be like I said, you can't have a doing stuff up something crazy with JCSU basketball hoodie on. You know, just just watch your surroundings and stuff like that. Okay, before we get to the fan edit five, tell me what's the craziest thing your coach ever made y'all run for? Yeah. My coach probably. Or like we used to do hurdles. We used to do hurdles too. <laughs> yeah, we hit hit a stack, hit a stack uh, about ten hurdles in a row. Yeah, that's when we started. We we would jump them. We'd do okay. about ten times. We jump them. Everybody jump. Everybody keep going around. We used to do that. My coach. He just make us run for fun. Like he, ain't, I mean, it wouldn't even no reason. Sometimes, sometimes we we be playing too good. Well, I thought he old school. So sometimes we we be playing too good. He like, oh, we everybody think they good or something like that. Like, <laughs> or he he just he just be honest. But like, it got us better at the same time. Like, like if our practice not good or to a certain standard, like and that's when I knew I was in college too. Because practice really took it like serious. Like you know what I mean? Like everybody gotta be focused. Like coach used to be like everybody gotta be professional. So. Like you was talking about, like with the cussing early, like I like I know as a student athlete, me regardless, I got to be professional. I can't be on her cussing regardless. Right. So just installing that, like being professional regardless of where you at. So. Okay. Yeah, but he used to de- definitely make us run. We we started practice off with twenty laps, twenty laps, maybe fifteen. Do a whole bunch of uh, drills, like uh, three man weaves, this whole bunch of extra stuff. Uh, sound like I, I like sound that. like I might like the coach with this dude. Yeah, but he was <laughs> coach. He. His record speaks for itself. He, yeah, he, okay. All right, it's time for the fanatic five, man. I gotta ask you five questions. You tell me, hey, give it to me the raw and real. All right. All right. So first question is, who was the best player or best team that you played against? Best player, best. Oh, okay. I know him. Uh, dude from uh, hey. He he went to Shaw. Yeah, I forgot his name. He was our best, the probably the best player in college. I played against. He dropped, probably dropped like forty on us. He went to the G League. Uh, I can't think of his name. He played at uh, Shaw. Your your sophomore or junior. Year. I might look this dude up. <laughs> yeah, look him up. Uh, he played my junior year. Yeah, he played my junior. He was uh the uh, he won the Player of the Year. Okay. So, yeah, you can find him. He probably was the best player we play, uh, played against. He was just – he can do it all. His his shot wasn't just the best, but he was from, like, up north from where he was very athletic. Yeah. Um, handles. He had a good, like, view of the game. Okay. He probably stood out the most. So, okay. What was your favorite gym to play in besides your home court? Favorite gym? Probably Virginia State. Just because they, they had the biggest gym. Um, a lot of lot of crowd. I mean, a big crowd when y'all played there. When we didn't play them, it wasn't a big crowd. The best, like, as far as crowd wise, was Livingstone. That was our rivals. They pretty always like turn. They was always like, right, like rowdy. Oh, Winston Salem. Winston Salem probably the best too. Like them, I can't just pick one. Like Winston Salem <laughs> was definitely every time we played them, it was, it was a good game, a good crowd. Okay. All right. Earlier, you said one of the one of the pros of being an athlete, you get away with it a little bit. Now, be honest, Quincy. Did anybody ever take a test for you, or a, a professor let you skip an exam? Come on, keep it a hundred. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this girl, this girl definitely did my test, <laughs> but she she didn't do. It. I mean, she did it, but like she wasn't in the class, nothing like that. I got you. Like, so I mean, yeah, so. You know how how that be? <laughs> All right, so hey, so tell me what your most embarrassing moment as a college, whether it was student or in athletics or in the game or whatever, your most embarrassing moment. Uh, I'm mean, I guess I can say well, I airball a three. Uh, in a game, my first time point. In yeah, <laughs> it, I airballed it. Um, I was in the corner. It was like my. I mean, I guess it's my first time. It was my first shot, yeah, first shot shooting. And just went. It looked, it felt good. It just went over the goal. Did the crowd? But, did the Did the crowd let you have it? 
people just it was at home. People just thought I was oh, gonna man. make it. Like we was already up. People just like cause people knew I can shoot, so people just thought I can make it. So like everybody who I played basketball with last year on the playground outside, they just like, oh yeah, my boy, like you know I'm playing. Yeah. So it's like ah, but it's funny because like my last shot in college, I actually made that shot. So it's just like everything came back full circle. So it was like you you started yeah. with an air ball and ended with a swish. That's what same like. spot, same corner. That's crazy. All right, last question. Who were the most, the three most influential people into getting you to college and get, helping you get through college? Um, of course, my mom. Uh, of course. I can say my mom slash my aunt just as far as like, you know, like both of my mother figures, like my aunt definitely helped out a lot when I was in school. Okay. Uh, and once my shoes, like the only one coming to my games. Like, yeah. she's the only one pretty much in my game. When Kobe died, I definitely, like, maybe want to go. You know, that's, like, my senior year. It was just, like, you know, I just got to, like, just try to push harder just because that's my favorite player. So, um, in the last one, probably just, I don't want to be seven and say myself, but just, like, I really, where you can see, like, potential in yourself and, like, how, how better, like you said, like, I always had potential, like, in high school, but it's just, like, now, even though it's not late, but just, not as early as I wanted it to be. Yeah. Well, I know I can do better. So it's just like I really stayed on myself a lot, like push myself a lot and like try to like really be self like motivated. Like I I get down sometimes. Of course everybody get down. I got my ups, but just try to stay self motivated, like to do better each and every day pretty much. That's what's up. Of course, like stay close to God. That's what I'm saying. If you don't believe it or you don't push yourself, then it don't matter what people around you do. So Yeah, because I mean I got to the point I was putting in the work. Like I said, I was working. So it was like, it was for me, like, getting on team. Like, I'm here now. So now I got to get better. Like, you know what I mean? Just try to do something. We definitely appreciate you coming up in the fan at it, Quincy, giving us a little taste of what it's like to be at the, uh, at the eight, especially at the HBCU. Cause you know, a lot of fans on the outside, all they see is y'all playing ball. They don't really know what y'all going through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got it, hey, yeah. <laughs> It's like that. So, it's you know, you, different. you know, but, you know, honestly, the, the regular casual fan, they expect y'all to be able to do everything that a power five do. But yet y'all ain't getting the same resources that power five get. You know what I'm saying? And and my school was uh, private. So we not getting like a school. Like I said, like it's some better HBCUs like uh, Winston Salem, Virginia State, Virginia Union. It's like they actually like public. So they getting uh, money from their like city and stuff like we private. So. I don't know what exactly will be happening with our money, but it ain't just being shown like it should be. I got you. So I got you. Yeah. All right. For everybody out there in YouTube land, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. For QNC, Johnson C. Smith, this is Coach I. We are out.